views, elevations. So to begin our discussion on elevations, let's go to the main floor plan. So just double click on main floor. Now what you'll notice here, and you've probably noticed this for a while, is what are these things? Those things are elevation markers. And when you start out with Revit, they just basically are centered on the zero point. But oftentimes your building is not right centered on the zero. It could be off, you know, that's a point on the site or something like that. So these need to be moved and adjusted. How do you properly move elevation markers? Well, first, in order to know that, we need to understand how they're made. So if I just zoom into one of them, there's two pieces to them. They're made with one tool, and that is found here, View, Elevation. Before you click on screen, you can choose either a building elevation or an interior elevation. So in this case, we could choose a building elevation, and then you'll notice that you can just drop in one of these elevations. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to hit escape. We already have the ones that are there. You can see that you drop them in as one object, but they're comprised of two pieces. So there's the bubble piece. So this is the piece that, if I just zoom into it, when you click on the big square here, that's the bubble, that's going to contain the sheet name. So when we drop this onto a sheet, that'll have its number right there, the sheet number. And then this will be the detail number right here. You can turn on other elevations and it will actually create, see that? It'll create or delete an elevation depending on which one you click on. I'll just click off of it now. Now if you click on the little triangle piece, that's the actual piece that has the viewing part to it. So if I just click on it, you'll notice if you zoom out that there's this line. Think of that line almost as a section looking forward, looking the direction of the arrow. So it's sections and then it looks that way. So right now, this isn't exactly what we want because this is sectioning essentially our building. We want to elevate our building. Now, what if we were to just start clicking? So I'm going to do a left click on the right hand side, window that, and then let go. That's going to select both the bubble and the leader, which is right there. Okay, so I'll just zoom out. I'm going to go to the Move tool now, Move. I'm going to click a point on the elevation, just right there, and I'm just going to move it out to there. Okay, so if you just click on that arrow again, you'll see that line should be way out to there. What some people do, the mistake that they'll do is they'll see an elevation like this and they'll just move it based upon the bubble. So let me do that. Click on the bubble, and then they'll just move it out to here, let's say. Problem with that is if we click on the triangle piece, the little arrow, it's still sectioning. It still has its viewing line right there. You can click on that viewing line and bring it over, but you need to know that there's those different pieces to the elevation. This one is especially critical because we want to elevate the building, not the trees. So let's window the whole thing like that. And then we can move or we can drag it over to there. And then we can window that. Now look, I went from the left to the right. As long as you're totally encapsulating everything in your selection, then you're fine. So now if we go through our elevations, east, north, south, and west. So now we can see the building in elevation. What about interior elevations? Well, I'm going to go to a main floor plan again. Double click on that. And let's just zoom in to the coat and boot area. I'm going to click on that little tag and just use the move tool to move it up. Okay, now let's go up to elevation. Then let's go over to here, which is the type selector. Let's choose interior elevation. And then let's just click. Hit escape once. Now click on the bubble and you'll see that you can activate each side if you'd like. The naming of these elevation views is not very good. So what we want to do is just rename them. What I'll do is just click on that leader, that black piece right there. And then in the properties over here under view name, there's the property. I can change it and I could call this one 102 E for East. Then I could go to this one. I'm clicking on just that right there. That's the leader. Okay, so that's 102 North. This one here, 102 West. And then that bottom one. 102 South. So what that does is it gives you kind of a nice little naming convention that'll help you figure out where these views are. So if I go over here into the project browser, 
then I go to elevations. So you'll notice room 102, and then north, east, south, and west. So as all of those pieces are elevated. So what it's doing with an elevation is just creating like a blow up of this one area. So if I click on that crop region, I can just stretch it out and I can see more if I want. So if I keep going, eventually I'm going to get all the way to the corner of the building. There it is there. 